So let's have a look at the premium war gear set for and what the Okay, so let's start that again. Here we go. Here's the premium war gear set four. Now, um, you didn't know already, there is something wrong with this set and I'm not the only one who has been affected by it. So let's go through the contents. We got the green dice. We have our data cards for the models to come. And um, we've got these wonderful uh, tokens as well, which are great. Uh, I've got no beef with the tokens, they're actually pretty good. Um, and then you got the uh, hardboard um, mat as well, which again, I like. I like the detail on it and everything. But there's no content box. Now, every war gear box is supposed to get one so that you end up with four. So, you know, you can put different things in each one to store them safely. Um, I have emailed them before Christmas because I got this before Christmas I received an email after Christmas saying that they're going to send out a new one at the end of this month with the next delivery so we'll just have to see um, so yeah let's get cracking with what's inside so again you got these green dice um, again I've never been a fan because they're too chunky but they look better than the pissy yellow ones in the last one. Uh, these tokens are great. They're always helpful, always handy. Um, and, you know, they, they, they're good quality, to be honest, for card tokens. Um, and, you know, being double-sided as well means that you will always have the token you need for the scenario. With the data cards, let's have a look inside. So, again, you get a death guard side and the... Uh, space marine side we've got the chapter relics here so we've got some really cool stuff going on there uh, you can print screen this if you want to get a closer look um, i'm just going to try and keep this as brief as possible here's the stratagems as well moving on we have our first data card and this is for the captain and then we also have the captain in cataphracty armor so that's cool um scout squad we've got two pages of that um because they have such a variety of loadouts and then the repulsor is crazy as well that's on two cards as well because it has such a variety if you get the full kit since we're getting the easy to build kit we won't get all the options for the you know additional weapons and stuff but it's still very handy to have in case you do buy them in the future for the death guard we also get stratagems and this is on two cards as well. It's quite a lot to do, uh, a lot to read. I do like this bit where um, you can get a boon from the Chaos cards, and you know it can be really, really useful. It could be a bit meh, or it could just be like absolute carnage, uh, and you know you end up turning into a Chaos spawn. And then of course we have our Relics of Decay as well, and that's on two cards. So well worth a read through. Everything's really handy. We've got a Chaos Spawn, um, the Tally Man, and that's it really. We don't really have that much left to go for the Death Guard. The artwork on the Data Card Box is great as well. Um, no beef with that whatsoever. Um, and then of course here's the hard board mat. And again, I like the the detail that's on there. You get a damage side, like a war-torn side, and then you get a, a side that doesn't have all that damage. It's really cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know where you're going to put all the new stuff in that. So, yeah, okay. Elephant in the room. Uh, this premium uh, content, it just it pales in comparison to what is coming for the Age of Sigma Mortal Realms subscription. And... It really does feel like a slap in the face. Okay, they've learned from this uh, Conquest series. They've seen that people are not happy with it. They've lost so many subscribers because of it. Um, and they've received so many complaints as well. But it just... I don't know. I think considering we weren't really lied to, a little bit misled because it said plus more, and the plus more just ended up being... 
uh, a ruler, which was a bit naff. Um, I really do think that maybe they should think about giving us premium subscribers um, like a small token gift at the end of it, just a model or um, you know some extra content, whatever. Just something, just say thanks for sticking it through, um, even though it wasn't that great. And you know, just trying to sort of make it up a bit to us because at the end of the day, I mean, it's a lot of money for what we got in the end. And when you look at the uh, Age of Sigma Mortal Realms premium subscription, okay, it's 50p more per issue, so you're paying two pounds instead of one pound fifty extra. But you get so much more value for that. You're saving so much money. For an extra 160 quid over the entire series, you're getting about 400 pounds worth of models. So something they learned, they, they did learn from this Conquest series, but it just feels like there should be some sort of consolation for us premium subscribers in the light of what's going on with uh mortal realms but there you go there's my two cents um for those who are just starting conquest um in germany for those who are getting along with it in other countries like australia and those who are near the end like us in spain um you always got your uh, your choice to cancel it or to do it if you fancy the stuff um Again, data cards good, the boards good, the boxes are handy but they're not ideal um, unless you are storing things on a shelf because then they're not getting rattled around. The dice I don't like so much but for the novelty factor that you know it's okay to have but then it always had to need to be something a little extra in there, just one model or um, you know some extra information or whatever because it, it just seemed a bit light to be honest but there you go that's it that's the rest of my depressing reviews of the war gears so thank you for bearing with me and um if you haven't subscribed already please do um and if you want to help nurse my pain and make me feel better then uh, there's ways of supporting the channel. There's links below for uh, donations to Patreon or PayPal. Or you can click the affiliate links down below as well. And um, you'll support the channel with little kickbacks through those as well. And uh, yeah, let's just get on with the rest of the magazine series, shall we? And just make the most of that. So thanks again for joining me. And don't forget, end of this month, possibly next month, we're going to get the exclusive Silver Templar painting guide with extra models and paints and stuff so and tra uh, those elusive transfers as well so stay tuned for that i will be getting that i will be reviewing it and going through it with you guys as well so do make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss a thing and i'll see you in the next one peace